That's Madison Keys Camp looking on as she just breezes through the match here with Wickmeyer. Wickmeyer got in with the lucky loser spot. She had to retire against Vickery, and I'm surprised she made it into the second round. However, she was taking on Zvon Reva in the first round, which I told you there's no way I can back Vera. Her movement is very bad. I think she can cover ground horizontally, but when she needs to just accelerate vertically and chase short balls it's much like the movement of venus williams and sure enough wickmeyer got the victory there guys but she is a very good hard player she's got more hard wins than madison keys has nearly wins that's right she's a veteran guys right she's a 80s baby taking on madison keys who spent nearly a decade ranked inside the top 10 we saw her reach world number seven after becoming the runner-up in the 2017 U.S. Open Championship, losing to her good friend Sloan Stevens. But I think since winning Eastburn, Madison Keys has found the confidence she needs to know that she can play at a high level on any given day, right? Look at the draw. She took out Petra Martic, Teresa Martensova, Wong, Coco, and Dasha, all in straight sets to get another Eastburn 500 title. This is the type of match she has to win. I told you to take Madison Keys to get the victory here. She did it in straight sets. She didn't really break a sweat. You know, one of the best acers on tour for a long part of her career. A lot of people forget she still has the power to blast anyone off the court. She gets the victory, guys. The world's ranked number 17th. Does it in straight sets. Easy day at the office for Madison Keys.